Meliki's exact date of birth and origin are unknown. She was originally member of Kozum Sultan's suite. She was lady-in-waiting during Sultan Ibrahim's reign. She was a slave origin servant. In 1648, Sultan Ibrahim was dethroned and executed and his six years old son ascended the throne. Mem's mother, Turhan Sultan was a young woman without any political experience and that's why Stateman asked Kozum Sultan to be the regent to her grandson Mem. Over the time, Turhan Sultan turned out to be ambitious, she began to assert what she saw as her rightful authority. Kozum Sultan planned to depose Memd and replace him with her other grandson Suleiman, whose mother she believed was more tractable. Meliki deserted Kozum and revealed her plans to Turhan. Kozum Sultan was murdered in September 1651 in a palace coup led by Turhan's chief eunuch, Suleiman Aga. Meliki Hatton became loyal and favored retainer of Turhan Sultan. At some point, Meliki was freed and married off to Shaban Khalif, a former servant in the palace training school. They had a child together. The couple established residence in Istanbul, where as a team, they were ideally suited to act as channels of information and intercessors on behalf of individuals with petitions of the palace. Shaban received male and Meliki female petitioners. Meliki did not have a good reputation. It was said that Meliki and Turhan enjoy a lesbian relationship. It is also said that Turhan was manipulated by Meliki and her men included Suli Managa, the chief black eunuch and that state affairs were carried out according to their wishes. Meliki changed the sultan's written orders to her pleasure. She and her husband and their people were accused of taking bribes and being in generally corrupted. They were appointing and dismissing Grand Vizier, Agas, bookkeepers, chiefs, the Lilerbays and other officials. This behavior of course angered the soldiers and they started a rebellion. On February 27, 1656, Meliki Hatton and four of her men were captured and strangled in the prison. They wrapped them in rugs, loaded onto a horse and took them to be hanged on a tree. Three days later the relatives of those hung from the trees, were ordered to come and retrieve the corpses.